Hi everybody, and welcome to Traveling with Russell, and welcome to a new video. And welcome to Gili Air in Indonesia. Yes, I thought I'd take you along on a walk around of a Indonesian typical supermarket. It's right behind me, so let's head on inside. Now, if you've never heard of Gili Air before, it's part of the Three Gilis, which are islands off the coast of Lombok, and also off the coast of, in of Bali as well. It's about a two to three hour boat ride from Bali. Uh, from the mainland of Lombok, it's only about 10 minute boat ride over, depending on which boat you get. But this is City Shop right here. And this is the main road that runs from the harbour behind me into the middle of the island right ahead of us. But this is where we want to go to, City Shop. Now essentially, it's the only supermarket on the island, the only full line supermarket. Now out the front here, bicycle parking is pretty popular. Now they don't actually have motorized transport on the island. This is actually an electric scooter. And there's another one right here. This guy's gonna ride off on his electric scooter. And we're gonna head on inside and have a walk around. Now, I'm not necessarily gonna point out any prices because it's very hard to kind of make that comparison with uh, Indonesian prices and prices in Russia, prices in Australia. Now, I've been here lots and lots of times over the years. Never filmed a video in here. Now this is where you actually pay here. This is the lady that does all the, the uh, cash payments. And then also a lot of people have accounts here, particularly people who have maybe a cafe or another uh, business somewhere else on the island. So, now the one thing you're gonna notice here, it's kind of organized chaos. I think that's the best way to describe it. Uh, when you come in here, you kind of take it for what it is. Everything is here somewhere in this store. So here, right at the front, there's some, actually there's popcorn. Can have a movie night. There's some snacks. And over here on the right hand, so we might walk from the right to the left. There's actually fresh fruits right here. Here are mangoes, apples, plenty of apples, mandarins. These are even bigger mangoes. Look at these things. These are very nice. And then outside, there's actually uh, fresh vegetables and you can actually buy it here. It's all by weight. Now there is also fish as well. So this is all fresh on the island. So this will be caught locally. Same with the chicken. And actually it kind of goes on the side. There's papaya over here as well. And lots of different vegetables for cooking. And then over this side, lots of biscuits. A lot of long life food here because of the temperature of the place. You can't really have everything refrigerated. There is fans in here. It is a little bit warm in here, but that's very normal when you come into this store. So lots of long life milks. These are all coffee sachets. So you basically just put them in hot water, give them a stir. Lots of back stock up here as well. And then they've got all these kind of glass cabinets everywhere with sort of something in them. So you now typically when I come in here, I come to these first fridges here. So here's some uh, milk and chocolate. Because of the amount of how hot it is, chocolate really has to be in the fridge. So it melts pretty easily. And they've got this kind of mishmash of fridges here, but this is very normal. Uh, bread, right here, bread's not made on the island, so this will be brought over from Lombok. So you can buy it just a few slices at a time. Now the one thing I'll kind of note here is it's not particularly well lit in here, but that's what to expect in any kind of Indonesian supermarket you come to. A lot of food, by the way, this is different kind of uh, sauces down here, soy sauces different oils, look at that. If you're English, HP sauce, right there. So they do have some stuff that's imported, but most of the stuff in here will be all Indonesian made and produced. Some cleaning products. And then as always, when you come in here, things on the kind of floors. And they've got all the fridges here. These are all the frozen foods. So you can get different frozen foods. Uh, you basically just have to open one and take a little look. If you've obviously been here before, you might know which fridge to look down, which one to look in. But, you know, there's long life milks, juices, plenty of new stock always arriving. Over here's all of the things for cleaning, washing. Probably know these room sprays, bug sprays over here. Yeah, let's sort of walk through a little bit more. We'll see if we can do this in one take. Now, I'm not gonna point out everything because there's just endless amounts of stuff here. This is all the stuff for putting up on the shelves. 
Then back here is all the kitchen stuff. So if you need pans, anything for cooking, uh, kind of anything. And if you can't find it, you just ask the staff and they'll find it for you somewhere in here. So, so rice cookers. So yeah, there's a small amount of electrical items. Lots of stuff for kitchens, plates, crockery. And then containers. Have a look at these big soup bowls up here. These are the big kind of uh, steel ones right there. And it's all the kind of bulk pans here. So anyone that might have a restaurant or cafe on the island would very typically come here if they don't want to go to the mainland to get it. You've got to take the boat over. You'd have to go find somewhere. Delivery arrived here, everything sort of all over, but it's, it's, it looks disorganized, but truly everything is here somewhere. Plenty of containers. So it's kind of the, uh, is it the Walmart of Gilly Air? I guess maybe that's a good way to describe it. Back here, you've kind of got uh, garden chairs, bins, lots of kind of plastic things, plastic everywhere, coat hangers. You know, I've never really walked back this far when I come in because I just kind of get drinks and snacks. There's some woks right here. These are pretty cool. These kind of, I almost call them traditional woks, but this is what the locals use, right? So, um, yeah, it's a, a little bit hectic walking around, but the only thing I'd suggest is put a few more lights on the roof, whoever the owner is. Having worked in retail all my life, you know, I'm kind of the, kind of the minor expert on this, but you know, it works how it is. Lots of glassware. These are all the stuff for cooking with woks. Ice cream paddles. If you're gonna serve ice cream, pop sticks. <laughs> it's kind of interesting when you walk around here because you see something different that you never saw last time you were in here. So it's always sort of fun just to have a wander. And especially if you're on holiday, you're kind of like, oh, I wish I had that at home. I wish I had one of those. And then you come to a tropical island and here it is in the store. Here's all the baby diapers for the children. Whole little aisle of them right there. Plenty of choices. There's some flip-flops here. Clothing sections a little bit uh, all over the place, mostly just shorts and swimwear. That's probably the best way I'd describe it. But if you need flip-flops, just find your size and you're good. And if not, if you can't find your size, then I don't know what to say. More containers, all the ketchup bottles here. Pretty much any cafe you'll go to, you generally recognize something from City Shop in the cafe you go to. Right next to the uh, takeaway boxes, the ladies' bras. Maybe these are swimsuits, but yeah, there's even bedding and sheets back here as well. It's <laughs> kind of everything in the one store and pretty much this is a little spot that I come to here, the cool drinks. So these are all the ones that are not refrigerated and it's the same price. So you can basically take them back to your room, put them in your fridge, little mini Coca-Colas here. And has anybody had strawberry Fanta before? Strawberry flavored Fanta. How interesting is that? Nice. And then Lots of uh, kind of iced tea and kind of milk and coconut kind of drinks here as well. All of these ones. So yeah, it's just a matter of, if you're coming here the first time, taking a bit of a chance on something and hopefully it's enjoyable. And if it's not, you choose another one. And then this is kind of the pharmacy area of the store here. Now all these kind of little cupboards on the top and bottom are kind of, uh, not really mixed up. Everything's got a place. Everything is organized, but you just have to find it, that's all. So it's just a bit of a mission sometimes. And then all of the uh, shampoos, toothpaste, toothbrushes, headache tablets, anything pharmacy related is somewhere here in this kind of section. And then there's uh, more candy and snacks on this last counter. And this is City Shop. Have a look at here, all the nuts and Pringles. Come all the way to a tropical island, but salt and seaweed flavor. 
Has anyone had salt and seaweed flavored Pringles before? Let me know. And there's more different dried nuts. And then biscuits over here. Oreo cookies everywhere in the world. Oreos has found its way onto a shelf. There's mueslis, granolas, oats. And over here, uh, ketchups, different types of tomato sauces, uh, coconut milks, there's coffee. So yeah, there's pretty much predominantly it's all Indonesian branded food. A lot of it's all in English though, which is kind of interesting. And some uh, potato chips there as well. More chips, these are the ones that I buy these. Beef uh, chiatos. Basically beef flavored crinkle cut chips in a nutshell. Nutella, everywhere in the world we can get Nutella. And then this is the American branded uh, peanut butter here, Skippy. It's kind of funny because in Australia we've got a kangaroo called Skippy. That's kind of a, an old TV show. If you ever want to get good Indonesian coffee, this triple five right here. Grab yourself some of that, you don't need any you know, branded coffees. So, yeah, everything is here. Just trying to be polite and trying to catch a quiet time in here because you can come in here sometimes and it's just hectic. Then the next time you can come in, you're the only one in the store. So it's always very interesting. As the horse and carts go by outside. There's some more chips. These are dates right here, if you want dates. Dates, I think that's what you call them. I want to thank these two ladies right here for letting me make a video inside. These ladies, how they keep control of all these receipts is an absolute masterclass in running a shop because they've got all the accounts here for the different stores. Here's cigarettes. So yeah, this is City Shop. What do you think everybody? And then where we sort of showed that outside area here, here's all the kind of the fresh market part here which I just showed briefly. But there's uh, pretty much the normal kind of things here, sweet potatoes, potatoes, pumpkins, lots of greens, so bananas, uh, lettuce. And have a look at these tropical local bananas right here. Now they don't look the best, but I can assure you they're very, very good. Put these in a smoothie or in sort of a milkshake. And fresh whole coconuts, they're already chopped, you just need to chop the top off. About 15,000. Rapier is about one US dollar for a coconut. Put a straw in it, or you can pour it, drink it straight as it comes, but that's pretty much the uh, most popular promotion here is the bananas and the coconuts. So everybody back there kind of tries to get their fresh uh, vegetables and fruits. Okay, everybody, I want to thank you for watching this walk around of a Indonesian typical supermarket. Now, if you go to any island in Indonesia, anywhere there's kind of a few thousand people out there is on this island this will be the kind of supermarket that you'll find now this has probably got a little bit more stuff than some of the smaller kind of little you know convenience store style shops but you can find anything in city shops so if you're in Gili Air <laughs> come and check it out at least you'll get yourself a drink some snacks anything you might have forgotten is in there as well as I take a walk back down to the harbour get some fresh air into me now it's a little bit warm in that store so yeah Give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Thumbs down if you didn't. It's okay to give it a thumbs down. The thumbs ups are always good. Post a comment, let me know what you think. Is it comparable to where you live? Does it have that amount of things in the same store where you live? Let me know in the comments. I put another video for you to watch right after this one. So if you want to check out another supermarket somewhere else. I also did one in Bali. So maybe you want to check that out as a comparison. That's waiting for you right after this video is finished. Thanks everybody. I'm off to relax now. And Go down to the ocean. Bye.